Welcome back guys to another video. This is uh this video is gonna be pretty short and today I'm gonna be looking at Royal Dutch Shell which is right now trading at ten dollars and ninety two cents. Sorry guys, uh Euros, ten euros and ninety two cents. And as you can see it has been going down for the past two months from month uh from eighth of June. It has gone down thirty six percent and today I'm gonna to be discussing about the stock in general, the company in general and its earnings that are gonna be coming in and the twenty eighth of October after the market and um some of the price targets by different banks and firms and overall sentiment of world that show so um i'm on a website called guru watch pin to know it's a dutch website and if you are a foreign trader or a foreign investor for world dutch stock i would uh world dutch shell i would want you to go here one time or you should probably go here because this is a great website guys to get an overall sentiment idea an overall price target idea if you're doing any option plays so um today i'm going to be discussing some of the recent uh, advices for World Dutch Shell stock, and um, we've been getting advices from uh, UBS. Um, I believe it's a Swiss bank, and this was the 20th of September, and today's the 29th of September, so one day ago. They actually gave a 19 uh, euro 35 cent uh, buy advice for Shell, and uh, that means it's 73% up from what it was uh from where it is right now so you can uh make a pretty good idea about these uh, price targets and over here in the right side you can see an average for the price targets the average price target is around 22 euros um some of them are high i know pipper saddler with 37 years is pretty pretty high um and when you have um uh, old grayish type of um, price target that means that that company has updated their price target or have removed their um, price target for like this company so uh, here and uh, here above you can see shell sentiment which is pretty green um, today was a bad day for shell stock because of uh, crude oil and vest tex or crude vest texas oil and brent dropping around four percent i believe by the end of the day even though the dow rebounded um, but uh, as the coronavirus vaccine news starts to come, I do expect some sort of like consolidation for so Shell and some sort of bleeding to stop. I mean, if you go one year back, the lows it went to was 10.68. So we're testing the uh, lows again, and this can be a big test for um, Shell stock. As you can see, it's only 2% from its 18th uh, March lows. Uh, also because of the cases in the Netherlands and Europe actually rising a lot, um, I believe today there are 3,000 cases, and in the summer around here, there were like no cases. So um, that's one of the reasons I can justify this drop, but a 36% drop um, is really because of other oil giants such, such as BP or ExxonMobil also coming to their lows, guys. Um, uh, if you look at BP, it was here at its highs, um, the same as Shell. 37% guys and they're literally all falling together and that's what makes me um, a, pr a, a little bit confident about these companies um, as a sense that once they start to rebound I think they're going to rebound pretty robustly together and uh, as you can see Exxon also 37% down so they're all pretty much down the same um, Exxon's lowest was 30 one i believe so it's a bit more above it's nine percent above seven more percent above shell um let's just look at chevron one more time this is the second biggest oil company in the world even though shell made the most revenue last year this is the second most uh biggest company in the world with its market cap of 134 billion um it's come down 103 doll 103 um it was at 103 dollars and now it's at 71 dollars so you get the point all stocks have been pretty bad and that's because of the fear of the coronavirus but obviously as a vaccine comes and the economy opens people start to take the plane again people start going back to work again you'll see the oil demand uh, ramp up actually a lot and also OPEC will do something but um, that's just uncertain right now what OPEC will do exactly I do see them trying to get the prices at least to $50 I don't think they're gonna ramp up production right as like the demand comes back uh, but that's just my opinion yeah so here we'll show um, I might just show you this website because I never really showed you this website uh, another cool stock actually in guru watch um, let's just go home um, e 
is actually Unibail and Unibail is pretty much in the middle. It has no sentiment really right now. Um, it's a European mall operator which fell 5.38% today, guys. Um, it's a lot. I did make a video about it, but it has got some nice uh, buy advices too. Um, they are diluting shareholder value. Um, it has got a 53 um, target from RBC Capital Markets. That's a Royal Bank of Canada. 54 but as you can see that like in 24th of June pretty pretty big targets I mean a hundred and five target in the 15th of June Like 15th of June. It was a hundred and five as a target 2020 so it was given a lot of good targets guys in the middle and um, URW stock did go um, till 70 I believe but now that they're diluting shareholder value I really don't get it but it has fallen a massive 57 percent from its uh, June highs so that's just another stock and you can see its sentiment maybe it might be a nice play for your stock to buy it's basically a mall operator like Simon property group from America um, but yeah so this was just my overall insight from Guru watch so I would recommend you to do some of your own research and um, do a significant amount of like uh, planning before you make an investment like how much you want to invest and maybe you might want to go with the approach that I might recommend is um, cost basis so you invest slowly 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 as it's as it falls as you can see Shell and these stocks a lot of the stocks have a negative trend right now but they will some i can't say all of them but like a lot of them will start to rise once the vaccine comes out so that's just my advice um i know it's been like one week since i made a video i'm really busy with school so don't mind me about that and um thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions let me know down below in the comment section below and like the video subscribe to the channel guys and i'll see you guys next time